What's the most common request you get from fans? Chow Garden. Is there a Chow Garden in this game? No. So it makes me wonder, if you know it's one of the most requested things in the entire fandom, why not just bite the bullet and do it? Like, I've been thinking about this a lot lately, because I already planned on making a video about the Chow Garden in SA2, as according to, you know, the video from last week. But why would you, like, hold back something that people want so much? I'm not really understanding the logic here. Hello everybody, I'm Garrela64, and welcome to yet another video where I'm going to talk about things that I don't understand and don't claim to. This was going to be just a video about Chow World Extended for Sonic Adventure 2, but then this lovely little interview about Sonic Frontiers came out, and I just decided that I wanted to talk a little bit more about that. Real quick before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to all of my channel supporters, which you can see on screen right now, and remember, even one dollar gets your name up on this list and helps out the channel a whole lot. So let's think back a bit, right? So we have Sonic Adventure 1 introduces the Chow Garden, and it's really good. Then we have Sonic Adventure 2 that brings back the Chow Garden and expands it a bunch, and then Sonic Heroes comes out and no more Chow Garden. We just have some chow in the plot, like, you know, cheese and chocola, but... I don't know, they really choked on this one. It's like, why would you not bring that back immediately? Like, it's such a huge feature. Then we go on to something like Shadow the Hedgehog. That would be a pretty big conflict of interest, right? Imagine if half the game was like... And then the other half was like, don't worry, buddy. I, I think that would have been even more memey. It would have been really funny. You got something like Sonic 06, where it's like this gigantic open hub worlds with nothing in them, aside from like side missions that nobody plays. You probably could have snuck something shower related in there. I think people probably would have appreciated that. Literally any game that's come out in like the past 20 something years could have been improved by having a chow garden. And what I'm here to tell you today is they probably should have. Because even the worst games could have been improved like a truckload or a boatload, plane load, or train load, like anything else that rhymes with that and has wheels or flies or moves. But instead of expanding the Chow Garden even further from SA2, we instead just got nothing and we had like a small retread when the games hit GameCube and you had the tiny Chow Garden and Sonic Advance, like it was a fun little idea. Uh, and then after that, again, just nothing. And that's where Chow World Extended for Sonic Adventure 2 comes in. Basically, this mod feels like a gigantic overhaul DLC for Chow as a whole. If you got bored of raising Chow in SA2, first of all, uh, you're a monster. Second of all, you should download this mod because not only does it add a whole bunch of new Chow colors, a whole bunch of new ways to get different Chow, more advanced Chow breeding to, like, mix colors together, it adds new hats, new toys, new animations, new faces, like, it's unreal. Like, this feels like what the Chow Garden could be today if they had kept expanding on it in every iteration. So last week I promised to introduce you to some of my little monsters, and truthfully, I only wanted to play SA2 again because I found out about this mod and I wanted to see how in-depth it really went. So we started things off easy, you start with two normal Chow, which I named the two names you can see on screen. I forgot my children's names, I'm so sorry. I think it was Larry, and... Oh, I, I keep forgetting the second one's name. I'm so sorry. I remember the other one's names, because as I kept going, the names kept getting dumber and dumber. Like, I have Barnabas Cubed. Uh, I've got... Crustoff, which I liked that name a lot. And he actually turned out to be one of my favorites, because later on, he evolved, and there were some very interesting results. But let's talk specifics, I guess. If you've never played SA1 or SA2, you've never seen or interacted with the Chow Garden, you go through the levels of the main Sonic campaign, and then you collect either Chaos Drives or animals in SA2, which you can then bring back to the Chow Garden, feed to your Chow, and then they will grow in different ways. Eventually, I just ended up putting on some, like, Chow World extended, like, cheat things they had in there, because I've already played this a lot, as I mentioned before, and I figured, I'm here to raise some chow, and it's for a video, and I want to get, like, the results quicker. So, a lot of my chow grew very quickly, uh, and, uh, that was not a bad thing, because I wanted to see what would happen when they were all evolving, because once chow do hit a certain amount of time living in the garden, and maybe it has something to do with stats, they will evolve and take new forms, their animal parts will, like, change, they'll be, like, more spectacular, really amazing, and all this stuff. And they start doing new things, like sometimes they'll jump in the lake and they'll swim around, or they'll fly around the garden. It's really wholesome. I really like just watching them from afar, and like, they just kind of vibe. And uh, sometimes they just jump in the pond and drown. But thankfully, you don't need to worry about them dying because of that, unless you turn on the option in Shower World Extended that allows them to drown to death. 
which is metal as fuck uh, to put in your game. I just have to say. In Chow World, you also have the Chow Kindergarten, which houses the Black Market, which is a very strange choice for a place that usually sells organs. Uh, you have, like, the principal's office, which is completely useless. You have the doctor's office, where the, the doctor will say, Oh no, your Chow's not doing so good, but they're actually completely fine, so I'm not sure why he says that. The fortune teller will give your Chow a different name, but we really don't need that, because I have the best names out of anybody in the entire world. And also you can drop them off at school to learn new things, such as like, they'll like draw on the ground, they'll draw their favorite characters and stuff. It's so cute. Like it's, it's like budding little artists on DeviantArt before they discover that, uh, you know, DeviantArt is kind of strange. <clears throat> Chow World also includes Chow Racing and Chow Karate, where you can either like pit your little children slash pet against each other in like hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is kind of weird when you look at it like that, because you're, like, raising... The Chow are kind of, like, infants, right? So, like, you raise them from, like, infancy to adulthood, and then you just go, all right, kill him! Get the other one! Get him! My Chow is pretty strong, and he just kind of, like, winds up and goes, bah! And the other guy flies halfway across the room like it's Dragon Ball Z. And it's all for a ribbon. Like, I think you get emblems as well for completing certain races and certain Chow karate things. So, like, technically, it's for 100% completion, but it is a lot more just just fun and funny to watch them beat each other up. The races, I think, are a lot more interesting because it feels like they worked more on those. Like, there's a lot more going on. Like, they have these giant race tracks where your chow will, like, run around and swim and fly and climb. And I think they'll push things in certain events just to try and get to the end before all the other chow. And it's really interesting to see all of the other chow that are participating in the race because it's kind of like, hey, this is what my chow looks like. And all of the other Chow look like they're supposed to be here. And Chow World Extended also has a whole bunch of new faces, so like all the other Chow look like they're like planning something and I'm not supposed to know about it. In the races though, you can encourage your Chow to run a little bit faster, but if you run out of stamina, then you're kind of shit out of luck because they will start moving really slowly, which means you have lost the race, my friend. So yeah, uh, be careful of that. Other than that, it's pretty much the entirety of vanilla Chow World, but Chow World Extended, again, adds so much more stuff. Like if we take a look at the black market, for example, we now have like a countdown timer to show when the stock is going to change the items it has. I think as you get more emblems, more advanced things will appear here. And there are some things in the shop that I don't even quite understand. Like there's this bottle that keeps showing up in one of the tabs that like says it severely impacts Chow lifespan. And I think it's just liquor. I think they're just selling liquor in the shop and if you give it to your chow, they'll probably spontaneously combust. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not a monster. You can download the mod and do it yourself. I think what I love most about the Chow Garden is that Sonic the Hedgehog as a franchise is supposed to be super fast, right? Like you're running through Pyramid Cave or whatever, you're going under these walls that are closing just in the nick of time, and it's so exhilarating and fun and you just feel great playing it. But then you remember you grab the chow key on your way to the end of the level. So instead of jumping right into like the, the egg golem fight, which I think is next, you go to the chow garden and you just hear the like the nice calming music. You take a step back, you look at all your little friends that you're raising in the garden, and my goodness, it's just like I'm at peace right before I go fight the giant robot. There's a good dichotomy here. Like, it's not like how some Sonic games are really slow and boring in the main campaigns. Like, let's say, like, Lost World or, uh, I don't know, like, Werehog Sonic and Unleashed or something. We have a complete side mode that you can ignore as much as you want. But if you go there, like, it's not like it's diminishing the feel of the main campaign, like some of those things I just mentioned. And there are some games that do include stuff like this. Like, we do have, like, uh, in Sonic World, for example, there's a Chow Garden. I haven't dabbled with that too much, but it's the same kind of thing. You can run through levels as 8 million different characters and then go raise Chow as uh, the, the, the Colonel from Shadow the Hedgehog if you really want to. We've also got things like Chow Resort Island, which is a dedicated Chow fan game where you basically, like, you have these really nice 2D, almost Sonic Advance looking kind of sprites. You run around the little Chow Resort Island and you get to raise Chow to your heart's content, enter them in games, and I believe that game is also going to be tethered to Sonic uh, vs. Darkness eventually. I could be wrong on that. 
but uh, I think I remembered seeing something about that. So that's gonna like bring us all the way back around to the reason I like the Chow Garden in Sonic games to begin with. I know I mentioned it earlier in the video, but like if every Sonic game after SA2, like all the mainline games, Heroes, Shadow, Unleashed, 06, whatever, if they all had Chow Gardens, I feel like the reception of these games would have been like raised by like a full pointer board. And I'm not talking like a like an 80 versus 81, I'm talking like a B versus C. How funny would it be if in Shadow the Hedgehog, you're running around the levels, and at one point, you know, Shadow's holding like a an AK-47 or something, and he flips over a bus, and there's a chow egg under there. And if you pick it up and like throw it into a portal, or pick it up and bring it to the end of the level with you, and then Shadow's over there in the chow garden, maybe with some of the guest characters from that level, just kind of walking around, petting Chow, making sure they're all doing okay, and then the next level, he's right back to eliminating like 50 gun soldiers. Maybe you have the soldiers versus the aliens drop different things that the Chow could use, like maybe the aliens drop things that make Chow look a lot more alien-like than the humans would. Maybe the humans drop, like, toys for some reason that the Chow could play with. Or more interestingly, I know I mentioned Sonic 06 before, those gigantic empty hub worlds. Imagine, like, you're running around the Soliana Forest, right? Maybe you're near the, uh, the, uh, Tropical Jungle? portal, I forget what the level name is, I think it's Tropical Jungle, and let's say like in the very back of that area, right, like maybe there's a hidden golden chow egg back there, or there's like some kind of native chow that's just kind of chilling out back there, and you can like bring it things to like convince it to come hang out at your garden, maybe that chow can teach your other chow some stuff, like there's so many things they could have done to make that a little bit more interesting, or Maybe, oh, oh, imagine, imagine, um, think about Sonic Colors, maybe? Ready, ready, like, we're on the Interstellar Amusement Park, and Eggman has a dedicated planet off to the side that has a Chow Garden on it, and now you bring the Wisps to meet the Chow, because everyone's always like, we want the Chow Garden back! We don't want the Wisps! Well, now they're both here, right? Like, imagine the Chow could play with the Wisps, the Yakker could be in there teaching the Chow how to do certain things, maybe some of the Chow laser and, like, shoot all over the place and then land in the pond face down and... They're not dead, but it's just a funny gag. Or maybe the Chow could even take on some characteristics of Wisps if you have them play together. Like, you got the Chow doing, like, funny little spike rolling balls all over the Chow Garden, climbing walls. I think it would be adorable. Like, imagine just, like, little hybrid Chow Wisps. Why not? Sonic Boom, for as slow and boring as it is, it probably would have worked really well having a Chow Garden, because that game is a lot about exploration as it is about combat. So, like... You know, we haven't even explored the idea of, like, having Chow augment the characters at all. Like, I know there, there's a mod for SA1 called Chow Gameplay that I'm gonna try to find, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. But basically, that mod allowed you to take your Chow out of the Chow Garden, and then they would give you, like, buffs and follow you around, and I think they would, like, swim in certain areas. Like, it was just a very cute little distraction. Uh, that kind of gets in the way a little bit of my whole, like, oh, I want to play fast Sonic gameplay and then go see the Chow thing. Uh, I mean, but if they just add buffs to your character, like, uh, I think they might do something like that in Speed Simulator, that new Roblox game. Like, you can have a bunch of Chow following you, I'm not sure if they do anything. Or, or in Sonic Runners, right? Like, different Chow have different abilities, or, geez, they were in Sonic Jump as well, Jump Fever, right? Yeah, no, I remember that now, because you hatch different Chow, they give you different abilities. Like, that stuff could work really- in Chronicles! I'm just, I'm having a brain blast right now. Like, we could integrate this into the main gameplay as much or as little as we want, and it wouldn't, like, make or break anything, but it would probably add, like, a fun little incentive for people to, like, actually go out of their way and do this, because most of the games in the, in the later series don't really have, like, emblems, like in SA2, where if you want to, like, do all the races, you get emblems. This would be a more of like a, hey, you could probably customize your playstyle a little bit if you raise a chow a certain way. Something more recent, Sonic Frontiers is a game about running around a gigantic island, or maybe a couple islands, we're not really sure yet, and looking for things. So like, why not have a chow garden there where you can find random stuff all over the world to bring back for the chow or find new chow? Like, it seems like a no-brainer. Like, I don't know, they just don't want to do it because they don't feel like it. They don't feel like it'll be worth it, even though we know people would freak out over it and probably claim it as like the second coming of Sonic himself. But I guess for now, what we've got is Chow World Extended, and Chow World Extended is fantastic. I'm not 100% sure what else I could say about it other than what I've said already. I, I thought I would have more to say about the Chow raising process, but it really is go to level, get animal, come back, give animal to Chow, 
eventually race or fight them, then they evolve, and if you want to breed them together, you get different colors that kind of, like, mix together in Shower World Extended, which is kind of cool. Uh, I guess you can see that one on screen behind me. Uh, but that's really all I wanted to say about Chao. It was like a mini rant more than anything. Just like, where are they? Why do we not do anything with this? Like, remember a while back when they did the, the Chao in Space animated thing and everyone loved it? Because it was awesome and really funny and people love Chao. And you remember how, like, everybody loves the Chao Garden and everybody wants it back and it hasn't been in a game since SA2 and it's like... Hey, uh, guys, I have, like, a free idea for you. Like, put the Chow Garden in more games. And just, like, literally, it could be as basic as it was in SA1. I think people would still enjoy having it around. But I am so excited for the idea of a modern Chow Garden. And right now, Sonic World... And right now, Chow World Extended is providing that fix for me. And I recommend you all give it a shot as well if you're feeling the same feelings I am. That is going to be all for me for today, though. So if you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell, follow my Twitter, and join the Discord to keep up with more Sonic things and other things that aren't Sonic things, because I do a lot of things. And I hope to see you in next week's video and or stream, whatever it may be. So have a good one. Comment on the video about Chow and your stories about Chow, because I want to hear more about Chow. So, uh... Chow.